and good evening, our dear viewers, in a new episode of NBC Journal. This is Lana Abaudi again with you, and for tonight's show, we're talking about coronavirus here in Palestine, as coronavirus arrived in Palestine recently. So we're starting from Bethlehem City. The news started with a group of Greek people who visited the Church of Nativity, and then one of them suspected to have coronavirus. And because of this, the Ministry of Health asked them to be in the quarantine for 14 days. And of course, uh, because coronavirus uh, spread easily, so the Ministry of Health asked also the workers of the hotel to be in the quarantine for 14 days. And now there are tens of cases in Bethlehem City. So uh, let's see the briefing news first with Oasis Levy and we'll be back to talk more about coronavirus in Palestine. Thank you, Lana. Governor of the South and West Bank District of Beit Lahim, Kamal Ahmed, ordered a total shutdown of the district. The governor, who said that this measure was necessary to combat coronavirus after discovering 16 cases in the biblical city over the last two days, said, however, that the health services will be excluded from the shutdown. He said that the security forces have intensified their activities in the district in an effort to reduce movement of people except in necessary situations. Last Thursday, seven people were diagnosed with coronavirus, according to the Palestinian Health Ministry in Ramallah. On Friday and Saturday, more people tested positive for the virus, bringing the total to 19. The Palestinian government confirmed yesterday discovery of five new cases of coronavirus in Palestine, four of them in Bethlehem, and one for the first time in the northern West Bank city of Tulkarim. This brings the total so far in Palestine to 25, with Bethlehem having 24 of the cases. Speaking at the start of the weekly cabinet meeting in Ramallah, Shteye said that the two governments, Palestine and Jordan, are in constant contact to coordinate their steps in fighting coronavirus and that they might close the border crossing between their countries. After talking with Jordan, officials said Shteye, we might be forced in coordination with the Israeli side to close the bridge in the coming days and hopefully we will not have to do that. He said that he is given enough time for people outside to return home and those who are here and want to leave to have time to do so before the crossings are closed. The head of the World Health Organization warned the threat of a global coronavirus pandemic was very real as the contagion continued its rapid spread around the world. In Italy, where 16 million people are now under quarantine, there were 97 deaths reported, bringing its total on Monday to 463. Ramallah governor Leila Ghannam today issued an order closing all Ramallah restaurants and cafes, the primary attraction of the city, in an effort to fend off the spread of the deadly coronavirus outbreak. Ghannam's decision affects all restaurants, coffee shops, gyms, indoor sport facilities, internet cafes and gaming centers, and suspends all indoor and outdoor public gatherings, including the folkloric dabke dance and scout training, as a precautionary measure to fight the outbreak of coronavirus. Thanks for watching. Now back to Lana. So thank you always and hello again, our jurist viewers. T talking about uh, coronavirus in Palestine, the Prime Minister Mohammed Ishtaye announced the closing of all the closed area areas here in Palestine and all in all the cities, starting from cafes, restaurants, gyms and universities and schools as well. So uh, people in Palestine are having a really bad situation. They're panicking and they're also trying to buy as much goods, as much food and as much cleaning supplies as possible in order to keep themselves safe in their houses. As the Prime Minister announced 30 days uh, emergency case 
and people, they should stay for their homes, for their houses for 30 days. Of course, Palestinians are used to have such uh, closure because of the Israeli occupation forces. People are used to stay for their homes and houses for a lot, of, for many nights, but for different reasons. So people now in Palestine are panicking. The, sit the political situation, the economical situation, and the health situation here is really bad. And of course, the academic situation. We don't know what we, we, the students of universities and schools uh, uh, would happen to them or would do after this month, or maybe it, it will maybe it will take another two months. We don't know. So let's see this video to graph together, and we'll be back. Again, as we're talking about coronavirus here in Palestine, we're, have a, we're having a special guest from Al Najah National University. She's a student of medicine. Her name is Zada. Hello and welcome here, Zada. Hello. So you're a student of medicine, and I met you before with your colleagues. And I yeah. ask, you, ask you about whether uh, or if coronavirus uh, arrived Palestine. Would the Ministry of Health be able to face this problem? Mm -hmm. And now we are already here with this problem in Palestine. So could you tell us more about coronavirus and the, uh, the things that the Ministry of Health are doing now in Palestine? Um, hello, um, thank you for having me here and thank you for um, helping spread the awareness about the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Um, Thank you. First of all, coronavirus, as we all know, started in uh, Wuhan city in China mm -hmm. and uh, it was discovered in 2019, but it uh, circulates in animals, uh, but uh, recently it has upgraded with the new mutations that uh, affect and uh, cause disease in the humans. Okay. Um, so, um, after the spreading of this infection, um, uh, they, there were some mortality and some death from it, mm -hmm. but it, it, it doesn't exceed, it didn't exceed the 2%. Two, 2%. Uh, and these, this 2% uh, is uh, mainly affect the elderly and, um, uh, and is kids maybe. And kids no, or no, not, not kids, doesn't affect not, the kids? No, not yet. No, the elderly and p patients with comorbidities okay. more and uh, those with the known uh, disease like heart failure and heart diseases and diabetes. Um. So it's basically not, not a thing that sh people should panic from? No, definitely not. Okay, so uh, as we're talking about uh, like here in Palestine and we have some sus suspected uh, uh, cases, could you tell us more about this? Uh, we, we don't have suspected cases, we have uh, confirmed cases. Con confirmed? Yeah, we have 20 cases in Palestine. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, um, we, yeah, we started uh, the, the prevention and, um, mm -hmm. and uh, steps to, to, start to control this uh, disease. Uh, first of all, uh, we started with um, the reduce the human-to-human -human transmission mm -hmm. by isolating the, uh, the, the affected patients uh, and uh, put them in quarantines. Okay, uh, so, so I want to ask mm. you about the quarantine, quarantines. Yeah. If a uh, like person is suspected uh, with coronavirus, uh, the Ministry of Health put, it, put him or her in quarantines yes. for 14 days. Yes. And after that, the cases will be confirmed positively or negatively. Yes, exactly. So uh, the cases that we, we have now are 20 cases, but maybe they're not really confirmed no, yet. The, yes? the 20 cases we have now are confirmed and, okay. uh, are, being, uh, and uh, are being dealt with properly by mm -hmm. the um, medical uh, staff and medical uh, care. Mm -hmm. um, the suspected cases, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the good things about the prevention of this disease, like you know, uh, anybody who's uh, coming in Palestine uh, is checked for and tested for mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, if, the, if, he, if he has the disease or not. Okay. And that's another way to prevent the spreading of the disease. Um, third thing, um, 
uh, here in Palestine, they um, prevent any crowd. Uh, no, they uh, they tell us to avoid mm -hmm. any crowdedness to to minimize the spreading of the of the infection. Uh, so, like we all know, um, it shut down all the um, private and governmental. Yes, because uh, the, uh, the prime minister announced the closure of uh, all the cl uh, closed areas, all the restaurants, cafes, yeah. and as well the universities. Yes. Not because of the prime minister, but like mm. there is a, a decision to close universities and schools as well. Because yeah. you know, like university students and lecturers come from different sides sides of the city mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. different sides of Palestine. Palestine. So, um, could you tell us more about this situation here as a student of Al Najah University? Uh, in, in order to prevent uh, the uh, spreading of the disease, I mean, this uh, step may be a good decision to mm -hmm. and to, to, the to prevent uh, the virus from yeah. spreading. Uh, on the other hand, uh, us like uh, students, mm -hmm. um, like we, we we are waiting our graduation. I am I am myself a graduate, so. And other students are waiting for uh, to, to complete their courses and to mm -hmm. you know, to end this semester. And this is all uh, postponed because of the coronavirus. Shutdown. Yeah. Uh, okay. So um, I heard that there are there will be uh, online lectures for oh, yeah. students. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about this? I think it's a good decision for yeah, students yeah. of university. And I schools. agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. It is a good decision. It. Um, you know, it won't delay anything for the students. Mm -hmm. They okay. So Zada, what is your last advice for students uh, at university and the people in the community at the Palestinian community? Because uh, you know they, they are panicked, they are afraid mm -hmm. of coronavirus. They are um, they are really afraid of everything. Um, it is really frustrating that uh, people mm -hmm. who must know better on social media, like um, scientists and other people. Uh, um, in inciting mm -hmm. uh, more panic uh, among the uh, public and more fear and um, yeah, because of that uh, people are more are panicking like more and more and mm -hmm. they shouldn't do that uh, after all we've been through this before we had several uh, uh, epidemic influenza and mm -hmm. we survived that so um, it's going to be fine um, inshallah yeah. Okay, your advice about social media, like to not to, to listen to everything not, yeah. uh, our post uh, posted or uh, spread in social media. Yeah, don't social believe media. everything you read or everything you see, and don't post it, uh, repost it. So to, okay, uh, to spread it more. Thank you so much for yeah, being here, fine. and uh, thank you our viewers for watching us, and see you next Tuesday.